Hey guys, I want to give you a quick demonstration on some of the cool features that I found that the pen can do over the past few months of having it. Uh, obviously there are many more things it can possibly do just yet to be discovered. So I'll get right into it here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to create is what I call the compass. Compass because it makes circles. Uh, here we go. So I'll take, I'll leave two magnets on, one above and below the cap to hold it in place. And then depending on how large you want to make the circle, you pick a certain amount of magnets. In this case, I'll take six magnets. I'll put them end to end into a chain and then attach them to the side of the bottom magnet of what's attached to the cartridge. Then all I have to do is put pressure on this last magnet and draw a circle like any other compass. And then to put the compass or the pen back together, you just have to um, let it go and it puts itself essentially back together. Um, then just pull the end magnets off and attach them to the other side and pop it on. And there you go. That's how you create a circle with the polar pen. I'll continue straight into creating what I call the revolver. To build the revolver you want to leave the bottom three magnets on the pen. Pull off the clip and the cap and then start with three magnets um, which will be the core of the revolver. Then line up the other six into a chain. Uh, this part's sometimes a little tricky but you want to take the three magnets and then put them in the center and attach the six magnets around the outside. It'll all of a sudden snap together and then you'll be left with uh, the revolver component. Then all you have to do is make sure you find the, the opposite pole, otherwise it'll just all snap together. So you find the opposite pole and drop it on and there you go. And you can spin it. There's very little resistance due to the magnetic levitation and it seems to spin for quite a while. Sometimes I like to display on my desk at work, just like that. And that's what I call the revolver. So the next thing I'll show you is the spring. Um, the spring, I won't put the pen fully back together, I'll just use um, these magnets. So what you want to do is take, take uh, the pen and find the opposite poles. Um, just a quick tidbit, the pen is called the polar pen due to the north and south poles of each magnet or the entire pen when it's all put together. Um, anyways, continuing. So you just want to break off um, one magnet at a time and then always reversing the poles by spinning the stack of magnets around. So I'll just put four on quickly here. So as you can see, it works like a spring. It actually feels like a spring. It's very difficult. Um, it's actually almost impossible to push all the magnets together. Uh, yeah. I find it very interesting because it keeps perfect uh, symmetry between all the magnets. Unless I guess you pull them like that. But Yeah, so I'll pull this off here. Um, and they have quite a bit of power in them. You can actually put it down and then launch them. They usually all come back to the same general area um, because they snap onto themselves in the air. Um, so to put the pen back together you just have to slide it back on, find the right poles and put the components back on and that's how you create the compass, the revolver, and the spring. Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you enjoy the pen.